Rakata Yahawa, Rakata Yahawa Shai, Rakata Yahawa, Rakata Yahawa Shai, Rakata Yahawa, Rakata Yahawa Shai, Call Halal La Yahawa Bahashim Yahawa Shai. All right. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. Oh, and uh, what I said in Hebrew was bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father in the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai. All right, the Father in the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai. Okay, so, you know, I was watching a few videos and uh, one video, Elder Apostle Gabar, he did in response to that brother's testimony that Elder Apostle Tahar put up. You know, I seen it, I seen it. Uh, a couple of other elder brothers touch on it and go into it and I wanted to you know say a little bit on it too and a uh, spiritual eye that I took from it all right which is the same as the rest of the apostles and brothers on down it's fear man fear you know what that brother went through being kidnapped all right and um, on behalf of his brother something that the brother didn't, he didn't do but his brother did and they wanted to kill him, but he was calling on the name of the Lord. You know, that's heavy, man. And the Lord delivered him. All right, the Lord delivered him. So, you know, as I was thinking, as Apostle Gabar was speaking on it, and I was listening to his show, um, one thing that the killers, they kept, you know, they grabbed the, the, the brother phone, and they wanted to see, was he about, was he telling the truth of what he say he was about? Like he said, he was about the truth, you know, reading and teaching the scriptures. So the guy was going into his phone and he came across his YouTube channel and he saw him in the camp with the other brothers, I guess. All right, or a brother. And at the end of the camp, they were saying, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Oh man, look at this, man. You know, let me show you something real quick. Salakia. Check out that rainbow, man. <laughs> But it's beautiful and it's actually two it's two of them double header all right this is a covenant the lord gave to noah that he would never flood the earth again all right this doesn't represent moles and transformers man all right so now i'm walking on the trail let's see here so like you what's wrong with my camera okay it's a little messed up but it's gonna it'll do i guess but anyway, the brother was speaking on his testimony and uh, what I got from it. So like you see. Oh shit. Okay. I didn't know I could do that. All right, so like you for the intervene, but you know I wanted to show you that rainbow as I seen it. It's a blessing, you know. See that from the Lord. Man. Let me get a good look, so I can <laughs> check that out, man. <laughs> wow, you know, that, that shows you the Lord exists. All right, Esau is not doing this, okay? This ain't no CGI. This is a rainbow, all right, that been here before Esau came on the scene, man. Okay, going back to Shem, Ham, and Jaffe, all right? Going back to Noah. So. Okay. Alright, anyway, back to the lesson. And I'm not going to make it long, Lord willing. Hopefully edifying to those of the whole four elect. But, um, that the brother, well, excuse me, the killer, the killer was looking at the video. Alright. He was looking at the video. And he kept asking the brother, what is those names? Now, you know, if you come to, uh, you know kill somebody or take their money and do harm you know why would you be asking about those names and that shows you that there's power in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai all right it is the power that governs the universe okay and uh one thing that came in mind was the scripture with Yahweh Shai when he came across a man with legions and the demon said to him through him through the man you know he was trembling and they asked the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is it their time yet? You know, so the Lord basically took those demons and put them on the swine. And the whole herd of swine fell off the mountain. They ran off the mountain, you know. So 
you know, when that guy, I like to look at it, you know, spiritual eye, you know, is that uh, when he was asking about the name consistently, what does it mean? Was because those demons that was on those guys, you know, feared that name, you know, they feared that name. And it was playing, he kept playing it over and over as he said, because it was going to register, man. All right. You know, it's a glimpse to come, you know, for Jacob's trouble, you know, for danger, being in, being in uh, certain situations and hoping the Lord deliver us. He was delivered. All right. So let's, con let's read the scripture here. Proverbs 1 and 20. It says, wisdom crieth without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief place of concourse in the openings of the gates. In the city, she uttereth her words saying, how long you simple ones will ye love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge. You see that? Fools hate knowledge. All right, now let me go back up. Wisdom cries without she uttereth her voice in the streets, which is in the Agora, all right, the marketplace. You know, there's a reason why Yahweh Shai told his men to go to the highways and byways and to preach the gospel. Because in the Agora in a marketplace is where people come in and go out. And it spreads the word. Today, the Lord allows us to spread this word through the unicorn, which is the internet of things, through these smartphones. Okay? And it's going worldwide. Alright? Soon the end is gonna come. Alright, because the Lord said, when this gospel is preached through the four corners of the world, then shall the end come. Roughly paraphrasing. Alright, so it says she uttereth her, she crieth in the chief place of concourse in the openings of the gates in the city. She uttereth her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge? So you keep laughing and scorning at the names of the Lord and taking it lightly, you fools are gonna be destroyed. What what person is gonna hate knowledge which the word knowledge means to know if there's something to know wouldn't you want to know about it so that it doesn't bring so you can judge between the two you know so that you don't be harmed or hurt when you're taking them making the wrong choice you know you have to be a fool to hate knowledge all right and the knowledge the fact that we're the israelites all right the so-called blacks latinos native and seminole indians the name of the Lord is Yahweh, the Father, the Son is Yahweh Shai. Alright. The prophecies in which the MOB, alright, is that microchip. Okay. The uh punch is the prelude to usher in that MOB. Hey, the knowledge is there. Matter of fact, the scriptures say, the knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times. So you have to be a fool to hate knowledge, man. But in this lesson, we're talking about the name. So it says, turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you and I will make known my words unto you. So the reproof is correction. So the Lord have cried out through the prophets by speaking his word week in and week out, man. In season and out of season. Because it's a matter of time, all right, when the Lord speed this thing up and we at the end end of this thing, man. So it says, turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Verse 24, because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have set at north all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity and I will mock when your fear come. You see? So it's about the fear, man. The fear. See, us brothers of the whole four elect, we fear the Lord, man. You know, and it shows within the work. You know, brother don't have to tell you I fear. It just show you, you know, by doing what the Lord said to do. You know, and and that's very important because it's all about mercy. It's all about mercy. All right. The Lord delivering us from out of the hands of the wicked. You know, in that testimony, he was delivered out of the hands of some wicked Israelites. You know, guess what? It's still more to come. But that's a glimpse being kidnapped. All right. Taken by force, held at gunpoint, facing death. At any moment, these demons could blow your head off. You know, that's what we're praying to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to be delivered from. Ultimately, the nuclear destruction. Okay? The hours of temptation. The mark, the mark, the MOB. Okay? 
we're praying to be delivered from that. So that testimony was heavy, you know, being accused of something he didn't do. You know, scriptures say being accused of thy brethren, Esau. Okay, he's the accuser of our bro of thy brethren. You know, slander is his own mother's son. That's Esau, man. He's gonna accuse brothers in that day. You know, to uh to be charged. You know, as if they were wicked. You know, and to be dealt. They did it to Yahweh Shai, and the scriptures say we're not greater than our master. The servant is not greater than his master, so we have to expect. That those things can happen okay and they can happen to you it can happen to me it can happen to any one of us so not neglect the knowledge of this truth you know don't put it past and don't think it can't happen to you because then you're going to be sadly mistaken when it does you know we want to be comforted in the time you know i can only imagine uh and stock i'm speaking freely so i can only imagine i don't know that brother you know, but I can only imagine his situation that he was probably calm during the whole time instead of being like a deer, you know, with the headlights on because that's what makes, uh, is it the prey? Yeah, that's what makes the one that's hunting you, you know, more excited when you, you know, are, are uh, very emotional, you know, and scared. You know, it makes them want to do something. But when you're calm, cool, and collective, you know, and going and, and being calm about it, it kind of gives a different perspective, you know, make them change your heart through the spirit and power of your heart by Shem Shai. So, you know, thinking about these latter end, these latter times, being, in, you know, in Jacob's trouble, and if we have to be cast into prison, you know, we want to be calm. We want to be comforted by the word of the Lord, you know, not like a deer uh, running with the headlights on. You know how they say that saying you know because think about it think about a deer when the headlights come on on a car it's liable to hurt it injure itself a deer just runs anywhere it'll just run in front of a car it'll run wrong way to hop over a fence and fall into a trap it's not thinking about where it's going it's so scared you know and then it end up injuring itself getting hit by a car you know breaking their legs and bones you know so all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Proverbs 1 and 25 of uh, 26, it says, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear come. All right, for those who reject the truth, who scoffed, who mocked, misused the prophets, you got fear coming to you. All right, all this, you know, talking down on brothers and beating brothers up, you know, and talking crap about the scriptures and you know all you man starting with the house of israel okay you israelite first and then you heathens what happens when the fear comes to you he said i will also laugh at your calamity you know real quick let's go into the word calamity all right Okay, they changed up. Yeah, they uh, switched up the blue letter now, updated or whatever. Um, calamity. Okay. Distress, burden, calamity, burden of the righteous, calamity of nations, disaster of wicked, day of calamity. Oppression, misfortune, ruin, okay, destruction, a burden, a load, yeah, all right, when the burden, okay, heavy, misfortune, so when the heavy misfortune come down upon you, the destruction, okay, being oppressed, being crushed, you know, how are you crushed when, when your world's been taken away from you, you know, when you believe and you love certain things, all right, and, and, and now your loved ones is taken away from you. All right, when you lose out, when you're crushed, when you oppressed, you know, cast into prison, man, knowing that you're innocent. Heavy misfortune, okay? Destruction, ruin. So when everything you have become a ruin, all right? What about, what about you, you know? To those who scoff and mock this truth, the Lord said, I will also laugh at your calamity I will mock when your fear come. 
So the Lord is going to make mockery of your fear. You know, meanwhile, the elect of the Lord is being delivered from the fear. OK, from the calamity. And I uh, just want to see something. To mock, deride, ridicule, yeah, to stammer, yeah, yup. All right, anyway, let's move on. Verse 27, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. So two thirds of you Israelites that despise this truth, all right, when the destruction and desolation and calamity come upon you, and it says come upon you as a whirlwind, meaning fast. All right, there was a video I saw where uh, this woman, I forgot, I don't know where they was at. But anyway, um, there was a video I was watching and she was filming, she, uh, she was filming, uh, she was filming her outside her door because it was an eerie feeling. It was an eerie feeling in the air. Basically, a tornado was on its way. And next thing you know, out of nowhere, just like that, you know, the strong wind came. She ran in the house. All right. She was screaming because it was just happening so fast. She was screaming. And um, after the 15 seconds was up, you know, all this was still recorded. She... Um, she uh she went outside and everything was tore up man her car was gone from her yard you know the trees was broken down within seconds man so hey the lord said he come with cruel isaiah 13 he said he come with cruel cruel uh wrath with fierce anger man all right so when the fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind when distress and anguish cometh upon you then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer, you know, and the Lord ain't going to answer some of you guys because you ain't sincere. And number one, you ain't calling on the true names of the Lord, man. All right. You're calling upon these false names in which the prophets, all right, start with the apostles and elders here at Great Millstone and the men on down through the four corners of the earth, teaching the truth, have warned you over and over and over. So then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall, excuse me. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh. So it's all about fear. Fear, respect. Now let's go into the word fear real quick. You know, it's the respect from the Most High. All right. Respect the Lord. You know how they, uh, what's the baby? Put some respect on my name. Put some respect on the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? Okay. Terror, fear. Uh, fear, terror. Awesome, of terrifying thing, object, causing fear. Fear of God, respect, reverence, see? Revered. Fear, exceedingly dreadful, fearfulness, all right? Another name for the Lord, title, which he was called in the Old Testament, al okay? He was called also al which you looked at al up, it means devastated, all right? Uh, apostles say demon-like power, okay? Mosai was, you know, he was, a, he was a terrible power, as the scripture said, all right? He ain't nothing to play with. Matter of fact, in Job, uh, the scriptures say uh, they shall meet the king of terror. Who is that? That's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, so the fear, you're supposed to, all right, it's dreadful, fearfulness, exceedingly dreadful, fearfulness, morally rev reverence, dreadful, exceedingly fear. Let's go down to the lexicon. Okay, to fear, to reverence. All right, you're supposed to reverence the Lord, man. Matter of fact, Reverence for someone or something is the feeling of great respect for them. See, you're supposed to hold the name of the Lord with great respect. You know, calling the name Jesus Christ. That's not his name. It says reverence for someone or something is a feeling of great respect for them. You know, a lot of guys don't show the Lord great respect. 
showing a deep reverence for their religion, right? Okay, so just going back. Verse 29, for they that hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh. All right, this is verse 30. It says, they would none of my counsel, they despise all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own way and be filled and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from the fear of evil. All praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You know, so the name of the Lord, you know, is, a, is as the scriptures say, a strong tower and the righteous is safe. Okay. There's plenty of scriptures talking about the, uh, the name of the Lord. All right. And there's plenty of precepts to prove that we must know the name of the Lord and fear the name of the Lord. All right. One scripture come in mind that I'm thinking about is how it goes. Uh, what is the father's name and what is the son's name if thou can tell? Roughly paraphrasing. All right. You know, that testimony that brother had was very heavy. And it's, you know, to be taken with consideration while walking in this truth. We want to be quiet from the fear of evil. You know, scriptures speak on, uh, what the scriptures say, hide us from the secret counsel of the wicked. It said a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hide it himself. All right. And hide itself in the scriptures. So, you know, I hope this lesson was edifying. All right. Salakia, I was probably a little everywhere, maybe. But uh, just flowing in the spirit and uh, saying what comes to my mind All right, uh, in this lesson here. Didn't have any precepts lined up, just flowing in the spirit. So, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.